I'm here to show you the impute widget in orange, which fills in any missing values in whichever data set you're using. Now the explanation on the website seems like it's a little out of date. Uh, because although it would seem like it's a really important part of a lot of the setups you're going to be doing in orange, it's actually built into almost every visualizer and classifier, which are the two types of widgets that orange says will struggle when you give them missing values. But just because they can handle them doesn't make the impute widget useless because it gives you control over how the data is being treated, which can be very important. Now for this uh, presentation, I will be using the adult sample uh, data set in which comes with orange. Now this is what it looks like here. As you can see, it's got 14 attributes with a classifier of whether or not someone makes more or less than $50,000 a year. And it has 8.3% of its uh, examples have missing values. Now all of these are in work class, occupation, or native country. Uh, and all, you'll probably notice that all three of these are discrete attributes as opposed to continuous ones with numbers here. Now I'll show you what, how to actually use the impute widget. Alright, in this top section up here, you select what you want your default imputation method to be. So without you doing anything down here, it's what it's gonna, that's what it's going to use to determine the missing values in all of your attributes. Now I've decided to just put it on model-based imputer, which uses a learning, uh, a machine learning program built into the impute widget that will take what it thinks is the most appropriate value to assign these things. But that doesn't mean that's your only option. You can change it for each individual one down here. Now all these are pretty self-explanatory, um, except for possibly model-based, which I just covered, and value. Now this one allows you to reset all of the missing values to be something specific. So for continuous ones, you can plug them in. So I want them all to be zero if they're missing. Um, there you go. But I'm not going to do that because that one's not actually missing anything. There we go. Um, now for work class, which is one of our missing values, I'll show you the value thing here. You can select one of the possible categories that are in the data set. I'll just put that on private. And just to make this change apparent, I'm going to put the occupation on armed forces, which if you'll see over here, there is only one person employed in the armed forces. But after having run through the impute widget, we can go over to occupation and we see that all the previous missing values have been replaced with armed forces. So here's our little private army. So now that I've covered how to use the impute widget to do what you want, I'll show what sort of effects it can have on your data. As you can see, I've used the same file, adult sample, to be fed through several different learning um, classifiers one with and one without impute. Now, as you can see, there are no error messages, so they all handled the missing values just fine. But if you open up your test learners at the end of this, you will see that the values change. Now, it's not very much, and something that you will probably miss if you're working, but it's always something to consider that this is something, this can change your data. How your results are going to show can rely partially on this, and it's always something to consider. Thank you.